Well, a new set of student-made murals is set to be unveiled later today. With music being their main inspiration, we sent Dallas Ontiveros to Kaimuki High School to give us all the details. Good morning, Dallas. Hey, Kellen Christine, that's right. Later on today from 3 to 6 here at Kaimuki High School, there will be a special event where they will unveil three different murals all made by students. And here joining us on Take 2, we have Estria Miyashiro, who is the founder of Mele Murals. Good morning. Aloha, Dallas. Aloha. Thank you so much for having us here today. Thank you. So let's talk about Mele Murals because I know this is part of the project, but there's something a little bit different because these are all student made. How did that concept come about? Well, we met with the community for years to talk about this project, and their input has formed the project. Mm -hmm. So what's different about Mele Murals, it's a series of murals around the islands, and we teach the children how to meditate, how to ask the Aina what we should paint there. And that's how they get their inspiration is through that meditation. So all this inspiration was pulled from a short meditation session with students around here on the island. Yeah, so students come to our free Mele Murals summer program, mm -hmm. and then we took them to Kaniwaya, the Lo'i up by University of Hawaii, mm -hmm. and they got these ideas there. Wow, that's just amazing. So I know there's three to show off, so we'll get right into it. Tell me this mural we're taking a look at because the colors are just so vibrant on this piece. This mural has an ali'i overlooking the mountains, which are the ko'olau behind us, and the canoes voyaging together over the rainbow bridge. So the ali'i represents leadership and stewardship and care for the islands. The canoes represent us journeying together, which is perfect because this is the ninth grade academy. And that's the start of their high school uh, the next four years. So it's a very good start. Now I know we're gonna just hop on right here. This is Kavika. He's gonna be our transporter just showing us these different murals. So we'll just hop on right here. But in, on an estimate, how long did it take you guys to complete all three different murals? I believe it took us a little over a month. Oh, okay. That's pretty, that's pretty short. And, 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 you know, for, to create these three masterpieces. Yeah, we had three artists working really hard, working long hours, so thanks to them. And uh, all, over 100 students were able to finish it in a short time. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this one because this one is very abstract. This is a large mo'o, uh, shape-shifting lizard, which uh, there are many of those in our old stories, and this area, mo'o ili ili, is named for it. This is an idea the students got in meditation of a giant mo'o made out of taro leaves. So the kalo makes up the scales. And then the ancestors, the mo'o kuahau, are the ridges on the back of the mo'o. And why was it important for them to include their kupuna and ancestors in this piece, you think? Because they need to know that they never walk alone, that they always are connected to their past, and that they have a role going forward in the future. And, you know, the colors from the tail, it's just very different from the other three. But there's just one more piece that we want to see, and this one is something very special. Let's go ahead and just move a little bit forward on this. But what is the overall message that you want wanted these students to take away from creating these three different murals? All three murals have pico or portals, and we want them to understand that you can go through a place or an experience to change yourself and make a better future. And you know what, speaking of the future and the past, this person is a Hawaiian legend. Do you want to remind us who she is? Yes, this is a portrait of Auntie Lena Ala Kalama Haini. She was a Kumuhula and she danced with the Casamero brothers. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you look above, just over her right shoulder, there are three students that are looking at her and making eye contact with her, but they're shaped as clouds. Why was that important for them to make eye contact with her? Well, we want the students to know that there are people here who care about them and are helping them to get ahead, and she represents that. And you mentioned, or I don't know if you mentioned this already, but you're actually going to have some of her family members coming to today's event. Yes, her family and her halal, they're going to come perform and get, talk about stories of her life and her contributions to our culture. And really quickly, as we wrap this up, I know you mentioned, you know, this was important for the students to learn about their history, the past, about their past. But tell me, why is that so vital for the future here on the island? If we don't give them their past, they won't know their role in going forward. And we need them to be the caretakers to embrace their kuleana to take care of this place. 
Well, you know what? Thank you so much, so much, Estria, for just showing us these three different murals, especially right ahead of the event, which is taking place from three to six. So, if you want to meet the student artists later on today and just be a part of the celebration and just learn a little bit of history, come over here to Kaimuki High School from three to six. You'll definitely have a great time, and of course, we'll have all this information on our website later today at khon2.com. Thank you so much for joining us here on Take Two. Mahalo, I appreciate Dallas. it. Reporting from Kaimuki High School, Dallas Navarro, saying bye to you, ladies in the studio. Awesome. Thanks so much, Dallas. What a beautiful work of art. Yep. We'll break.